Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were uh, trying to finish Arcade's quest, or at least get it to start in the first place, and uh, then we could get on to finishing it. And uh, main problem is that I wasn't able to figure out what I could do to accumulate the points necessary to get the quest to start. Now, I realized there was one thing I discounted because I had already been there and already dealt with them. But, I realized it might be possible that it'll still let me do it anyway if enemies are respawning at locations. Now, I don't know if the specific enemy that they talk about, that Arcade talks about, is going to be there. But, I think it's worth a shot anyway. So, whoops, that was the wrong button. <laughs> We're going to the fort, which already hates us, because that is a thing that will also start it. His reaction to us being at the fort. Another kill to my name. Oh boy. Hey. You're down. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on? Am I playing Virgil to your Dante? I'd like to assume that uh, we're tiptoeing into the maybe. mouth of hell out of academic curiosity, but I'm not so open minded that I've lost my brains. I get you. I understand. I am absolutely not saying that. <laughs> once we get to Kaiser, once we get close to Kaiser, we can strike. He's already dead. Let's just listen to him, figure out what he's up to, and get out. Short of canceling our imminent travel plans, that's the best thing you could have said. Yeah. Just be careful. If we travel at Caesar's pleasure, he may not let us out as easily as he lets us in. True. Very true. I need to talk to you about something. If you have. There it. we go. That did it. That fucking did it. All right, cool. All right, yeah, yeah, let's talk. Any day now, Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. Well, not him personally. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. Yeah. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past and how I might be able to help out. The past? What are you talking about? I wasn't always with the followers. Or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave. A remnant of America's pre-war government. Oh. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. But they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnap people. Yeah. Eventually someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the, the first coast. Game. A place called Navarro. Uh, where did the Enclave go? A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. I see. So even trying to sneak into the NCR to try and live a normal life, that didn't work out. Because they then found out, oh, hey, some of our essentially sworn enemy kind of integrated into our society. Let's try and kick them out or kill them. I'm, I'm assuming one or the other. Most likely the latter, <laughs> considering how the uh, wasteland is. What happened to Navarro? After the Enclave's command structure fell apart, it was only a matter of time before Navarro was overrun by NCR forces. I bet. My mother and I left with some of the troopers from my father's old unit, the same people I've kept in contact with over the years. Anyone who didn't get out was killed by the NCR. Mm -hmm. Even some of the ones who escaped were eventually hunted down by the Brotherhood of Steel. I see. Because they were working on a uh, advanced power armor uh, as well, so... They were working on far more advanced tech than the Brotherhood of Steel would be willing to let fall into civilian hands. 
So I'm not too surprised that uh, the Brotherhood of Steel eventually got involved. Where are you going with all of this? The Enclave did a lot of bad things. But there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. I'm sure not there many were. of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. Do you want them to help the NCR in that regard? That's a hard question to answer. I know I don't want the Legion to take Hoover Dam. That's fair. So militarily, yes, I want them to help NCR. If possible, I'd like to figure out a way to help the NCR win Hoover Dam without holding New Vegas. Me? He's talking about me? <laughs> Say no more, I'll do it. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old timers, the remnants. The remnants? I don't think I can convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's That's happening fair. here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. That's I know I'm not fair. always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks. Not a problem, Arcade. Not a problem. In fact, I am happy to be a part of this. Also, Goo Pile. That was long before I got here. What the fuck? I'll take the pistol. Eh, I guess the rounds are good, too. The Purified Water. The Machete. Uh, I'll leave the machete. Okay. Um, so anything that needed a repair, that is one of my main weapons. No, no. No, that's not one of my mains. This is. Uh, I'll repair it later. It's actually further down than 4%. Tesla cannon. I need to get rid of this. I need to sell this off. Also, holy shit, you made everyone goo. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Love it. Just make them all gooey inside and outside. They're, they're, they're dead is what I'm saying. They're just gooified remains that are dead. Ow. Oh. That was part of him. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, and what a shame. Well, down he goes. Looks oh, jeez. Like oh, jeez. Down he goes. I just want to take down any... <laughs> any legionaries that are still here. Just because I can. Alright. Uh, nothing good on you. Nothing particularly good anyway. How about you? Ah. Ooh. Magnum revolver. Not good for me, but... I can at least use the repair ability. That'd be nice. Who are you? If the NCR ain't gotta worry about Caesar no more, it should worry about improving the lives of regular folks around here. Okay, well then, why aren't you helping these guys get out? I mean, that's a way you personally could help improve these people's lives. But you ain't doing shit, so... Shut the fuck up, maybe? Eh? Maybe that? Okay. Let's get out of here, huh? <laughs> Let's do the quest thing. Cannibal Johnson's Cave. There we go. This was the thing that I found out later. Any... Yep. There is an enemy. Oh, here we go. There we go. Good job, Arcade. Good job. And nothing. Okay, well. Just go into the cave, huh? There we are. Will he respond now? <laughs> I wonder. Ah! Fuck off with that. Yeah, we have Enclave Foot Locker. That should be a big fucking clue right there. Let's turn the light on it. So we can actually see it. Well, it's about damn time. What took you? Oh. 
Oh? I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now. And I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. Oh, yeah? You sound like you're eager to die. There's a twitch in my trigger finger. I've lost my eagle eyes, and the other day I could have sworn I heard Sergeant Dornan chewing me out. I'm old, and I'm starting to feel it. It's not pleasant, especially when you know your mind's slipping away. And we all gotta go sometime. But I was hoping for something a little more heroic. Well, you're in luck, aren't ya? Arcade asked me to gather all the remaining members of the Enclave in the Mojave. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about, then? He thinks your experience in technology will help resolve the conflict in this region. Well, now, there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. Yeah. You can count me in. Oh, oh wow, that in was case quick. Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? Bunker. If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing cool. he was never court-martialed. Yeah, I bet. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. That would... That'd be great to know. Why worry about it? You don't have to be your father. I grew up without him. I'll always feel like something is missing from my life, but you're right. It's not like I'm the only kid in the wasteland who's grown up without a dad. Johnson always said my father was a good man. If that's the only thing about me that's like him, that's enough for me. There you go. Be your own man. Don't need to live up to the old expectations of your father. You just end up breaking yourself trying. Better to just stay you. Believe me, I know. Alrighty. Now there's a couple more. There's one over near the sharecropper farms. Hmm. Now what's this about a bunker? He never told me anything about a bunker. So, his is old. I'm, I'm sure I'll get a list of these when I uh, get along with the quest, I'm sure. I'll probably put this away now. <laughs> and it was north, so I was right. At least in general direction of where to go. Ah. <laughs> Gotta go around the fence, not... Yeah, not in the sharecropper farms itself. Alrighty, so... Oh! Orion Morenos. Alrighty. Oh. It's a big-ass house. Hey there. Ugh. <sighs> Looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Well, I'm not going to force you to get out. Do you have something against the NCR? Oh, uh, like you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I've already been living here for years. That's fair. What do you do around here? I do. I don't do anything. I'm retired. So what did you do before you were retired? I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep bringing it up. Arcade and I were looking for you. We're gathering the remnants. Been a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? Well, that's the thing. There's, there isn't anyone else around with your equipment and expertise. You can thank the NCR for that one. Wait, this isn't on behalf of the NCR, is it? No, I was planning on helping the Legion against the NCR. Uh, does it matter who we help? Yeah, it does. 
There's not a chance you'll find me helping the NCR in any way. They've caused me too much grief. So you're not coming? Oh, I'll come. But depending on the plan, I might not be staying. Keep that in mind. That's Arcade fair. might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. No, he didn't. My part is remember. Old remember. Okay. What did you do when you were in the enclave? Heavy weapons trooper. Oh. Nothing better than hosing down a target with an excess of bullets and laser fire. Yeah, I bet. By the time I got through with things, not much was left standing. Any morons who didn't run when they saw me coming got what they deserved. Back then, it was war. If we'd been on the winning side, I'd be called a hero. I mean, you're still alive. Yeah, I think we can still call you a hero in that regard. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not happy Moreno about that. Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. I bet. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. A man should know when to let go. It's been decades, you know. By now, he's been out of the Enclave longer than he was in. Most people know when to hang it up and start over. But not Moreno. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes they just end up like that. Better old men clinging to the past because they don't see anything better. And in some cases, they're kind of right. But, uh... Maybe this will help him relive the old glory days, huh? Eh? Maybe. I'm hoping. <laughs> Alrighty. Why is he pulling his gun out? That's a little creepy. I wonder who the person is in this part of town. Kinda wanna know now. Oh, I can't go through here this way. So it's in the hotel area proper, okay. I was thinking it was outside of it. That's the main reason I went outside like that. Okay, so it is an old no-bark. Okay. Alright. That's fair. Don't do that! Knock it off! No! No! Don't be peeping through windows! No bark! No! Bad! Alright. Just being an idiot now. Alrighty. I guess... It's up on this floor? Who's in here? Was I allowed in here before? If the NCR Daisy Whitmore. ain't got to Daisy worry Whitman, about Caesar no more, more. it should worry talk. about improving the lives of regular folks around here. Are you just eating food off the floor, Daisy? Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. You were a pilot? Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Not bad. Not bad at all, Daisy. Impressive, even. Did you fly for the NCR? Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Mm-hmm. What do you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. All right. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Fair enough. Arcade asked me to find you. I'm re... Uh, take two. I'm reuniting the remnants, and they'll need your piloting skills. Told you everything about us, did he? Yeah. Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebrate. Yeah, I know. I've There's a chance I could crash told us decades. in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. Yeah, I know. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is deer. Oh, that's adorable. 
So, old remember deer. I'm remembering all that, right? I'm remembering all that correctly, right? <laughs> I'm just making sure. Uh, how did you like flying vertebrates for the enclave? I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Can I really blame Some you? Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. Hmm. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. That might be true. That might be true. Watch your six out there. Absolutely. And Arcade will pitch in the uh, explanation in a moment, probably. Maybe when I'm out the door. Since yep. my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. Mm -hmm. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She mm -hmm. flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. Oh. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. That's true. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. It was an important part of her life. Why shouldn't she enjoy it? As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was yeah. something. If you spent the first half of your life flying enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. Not really. Not really. So I understand why she's willing and, uh, ripping to go so all right we got one who doesn't want anything to do with the NCR or at least nothing to do with benefiting the NCR um, I wonder if the beeping outside is being heard <laughs> they're working on putting up a barn nearby <laughs> so they're using heavy equipment so when it's backing up it's making a lot of beeping but anyway uh, we got one guy who doesn't want anything to do with helping the NCR completely. If it's just indirectly, but then we're kicking them out, he's all for it. The other two don't seem to really care. And Arcade will find out very soon that I'm doing it just to help make an independent Vegas. So, I'm pretty sure everyone will be on the, uh, on the up and up with this Jacobstown. Jacobstown. Who in Jacobstown would be Enclave? There's only like two humans there, isn't it? Is it the doctor? There's only two humans up here. Is it the doctor? I mean, it's, I suppose it's possible it could be one of the super mutants, but... That seems less likely. That seems less likely than anything, honestly. Yep, it's a doctor. Hey again, there, the Doctor Henry. Pines got massacred again. No survivors this time, though. They what? Is there something oh, else? Oh, you're I thinking can do of the other you? thing. The other thing. You're a scientist. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. I see. Canine neuroscience. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Alrighty. If we must. Fair enough. I'm surprised to find another human I here. prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. So, I apparently never looked into that. Because <laughs> that would have been important to know, because then I would have known immediately. He, he just openly talks about being in the Enclave. All the rest of them are not so open about it. But considering he's here with super mutants, of course he feels like a little bit okay with it if the human is able to survive long enough to be inside okay that's fair all right 
Arcade Ganon has asked me to gather all the former members of the Enclave in the Mojave. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Absolutely. Oh, you'll need my word from the past phrase to get into the bunker. Friends. Don't forget it. I'm trying not to, but we're already at four. I do not guarantee I can remember all of them. Yes, yes. Old friends remember dear. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. I understand that. Sometimes I like doing that too, just because it's giving me something to do. His work is what mattered to him. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. That is probably true. And very poignant. Alrighty. Now, the last one. <laughs> My throat is destroying me today. I don't have anything really close by, so I guess I gotta go to the Griffin Ware's sacked caravan. See that pile of ash and death. Sorry, I had to drink my coffee. It's been a while since my last sip of coffee, and thus I needed to drink more of it. Now I have a feeling, since I did a little ambush back at the fort... I will be getting another ambush by uh, assassins anytime soon now. So I'm going to be on high alert for a bit and take out my gun. And I pulled out my gun! Okay. I had to make the joke. <laughs> okay. Don't you... Don't you... Forget about me. Okay. That was stupid. That was a stupid joke on my part. That was the stupidest joke I've ever said in my life. Okay, that's that's false. I've said stupider jokes. It just move on. Oh. Okay. Who are you? I hear the West Side Militia massacred again. No survivors this time though. That is the second time I heard that. Is that a bug? Is that a bug? Because I'm still liked there. Alright. It's gotta be a bug. Put this away again. And I guess we're going into Westside. A place I have never been. Alright. Well, new Westside, area. Huh? I passed through here with another follower a while back, Anderson. Mm -hmm. The locals were having a lot of trouble getting water through. Oh, I see. So they, uh, they don't have that problem anymore is what you're saying? What the? Is that? Motherfucker, that's a super mutant. And he's just... And he's just friendly. Do you know anything about Welcome this? Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. That was not my question. That wasn't even close to my question. But, uh... Alright. <laughs> okay. This apartment building yours? Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something. But I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> That's fair. Folks okay. who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. 
And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the casa went full service. Alrighty. I gotta admit, that, uh, that ball cap looks a little, uh, looks a little bit, uh, childish on you. I'm not gonna lie. Just, mm, okay, alright. I had a question about your tenants. Like who? Like who? Never mind. All right, then. I don't have any more questions. Catch you later, then. Yeah, later. I should probably ask the super mutant directly. Because I might run into another situation like that again. Hi. Hi. Mean son of a bitch. Hell of a name. Who are you? Myself a bitch. Myself a bitch. Do you have trouble speaking? Mm-hmm. Oh. I have a go bow. Goodbye. What's a super mutant like you doing in a place like this? Ha ha ha. I wash my bone with Sibi. I have Bogo. Phoebe's a rope. Goodbye. Okay. So, from what we could surmise, he has no tongue. Somehow that got lost. At some point. Um, he watches the town and keeps it protected from fiends. Okay. Alright. That's fair. That's fine. Also, I should probably quit running around and start going after... Here the great cons got massacred again. Miguel's no pawn shop. This time, Why do you keep saying that? Now I want to go back over there and find out what happened. Oh, jeez. Judah Kruger? Kreger? You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Um, <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. What do you do in Westside? I help tend the crops, stand watch for fiends, and generally help keep things civilized. Fair enough. How long have you lived here? A couple of years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. That's Westside fair. was a good place to settle down as any. Arcade asked me to find you. I'm gathering the remnants. Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why yeah, the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Well, it was Arcade's suggestion, not mine. But, uh, you'll be the element of surprise. Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. All right, None of this sounds good. A thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Navarro. Gain access to the remnant's bunker. I'd like to know more about your former squad. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah, I could kind of tell after, uh, Arcade's description of the guy. Uh, tell me about the old days with the Enclave. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. Yeah. The rest of us, That though, can happen. We were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. What happened to the Enclave oil rig at Novaro? Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. I see. So, that's their way of trying to say, oh yeah, that happened in another game, and we don't know what happened because the game could have literally gone in any direction into how they destroyed the oil rig. So, we aren't going to give a canon answer? <laughs> so, that's what that is. Also, uh, that was also them saying that the NCR decided, you know what, Yonclave tried to take us out while we were still starting out. Now it's time to get revenge, now that we're strong enough. 
At least that's what it sounds like. Uh-huh. All righty. See you later, Judah. Judah Krieger is the glue Krieger. that's okay. kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. That is Krieger true. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. I'm Not sure loyalty it does. to the Enclave or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Which is honorable. They're loyal to you, too. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They're all they went a through lot. a lot together, but my family went through it, too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Maybe this is the time we do it. All right, hi there. Those We're same junkies citizen. over at Vault 3 have been taking some hits. I say kill them all. Well, I, uh, I did that for you. You're welcome. All right. So, uh, we've gathered all the remnants. Now we have to go to the bunker, which is apparently right here. Damn, that was closer than I thought. All right. So, we'll do that in the next episode. Because for right now, we are a little bit over time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and gathering all the remnants together with the help of Arcade. Because, well, I wanted to do it all in a single episode. And it took a little longer than I intended. But here we go for you.